the Chinese government has created a high-tech surveillance network that it uses to monitor and target uh, human rights advocates and religious minority communities. Hello, my name is Stanton Dolce, and I'm a commissioner on the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. Last October, the Department of Commerce restricted export of certain technological components to 28 Chinese entities implicated in the persecution of Muslims in Xinjiang. We urge the U.S. government to increase such restrictions as needed to ensure that American companies are not providing China with technology to operate its surveillance states. In Congress, there has been strong bipartisan support for bills such as the Weaker Intervention and Global Humanitarian United Response Act that would increase U.S. restrictions on export to China of technology implicated in free, religious freedom violations. We urge Congress to pass these bills swiftly. The Chinese government has installed hundreds of millions of surveillance cameras across the country, particularly in Xinjiang and Tibet. Facial recognition systems are used to track and distinguish Uyghurs and Tibetans from other ethnic groups. According to experts, this is the first time a government has intentionally used artificial intelligence for racial profiling. Chinese authorities installed cameras on the pulpits of some churches, allowing authorities to identify and monitor anyone who attends uh, services. Last year, USA published a report about the Chinese government's use of surveillance technology to target religious minorities as part of our effort to raise awareness of this issue. There are many ways in which the US government can pressure China to ensure its citizens the basic uh, human right of freedom of religion or belief. You can learn more about this at www.usaf.gov.